stuff. What's taking so long? The belt goes round and round with an abundance of bags. A brown leather strap with a checkerboard design grabs his attention. He grabs the bag and rushes out the airport while bumping and bouncing off people on his way out. Here you go, sir. Take mine. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Frank jingles the door handle as he has trouble opening it. Opening it. He gets in and the car is filled with cigarette smoke. The driver takes out a cigarette and lights it. Where are we headed this fine day? Calverton. Frank studies the bag for a second and is distracted by the fact that he may have taken the wrong bag. Well... You need to turn around, like right now. Frank wails the taxi cab door and opens and takes the bag with him. He goes into his wallet and takes out a crisp hundred dollar bill. Here, take this. He hands the money to the driver and holds his hand while giving it to him. Please wait here for me. I promise I'll be right back. Frank sprints into the airport. Frank swivels his head back and forth trying to find a sign directing him to customer service. He soon spots it. The line is too long as Frank cuts the person in front of him and apologizes. Sir. You're going to have to go to the back of the line and wait just like everyone else. Please, you don't understand. I need your help. The agent looks like the person behind him at, after staring at Frank for a moment. It will just be a moment, ma'am. Ma the agent takes off her glasses and looks back at Frank. How can I help you? Help? Yes, help. Is everything okay, sir? No, it's not, ma'am. I took the wrong bag by mistake, and I really need to get it back before I leave here. The agent types into the computer trying to locate his gate. Any idea where your bag can be? No clue. All I know is that it looks exactly like this one. The agent looks over at the bag and continues to type into the computer. Maybe if I type in the description of your bag, I can track it down much easier. Oh, thank you. Please. I need to find my bag. Frank crosses his hands as, as if he is praying. The people online are starting to get annoyed. Jackpot. Frank, you know, Frank uncovers his face and a delicate smile appears from the corner of his mouth. You know who has my bag? Go to the baggage circulation number five. Your luggage should have been out 10 minutes ago. Frank grabs the bag and rushes out of customer service. Oh, thank you. He looks around in panic to see where claim room 5 is located. The number lights up his eyes as if he finds it. The crowd of people make it difficult to move. He arrives at claim room 5 and thinks he sees someone with his bag from a glance. Excuse me, sir. Trying to get the man's attention, he moves in closer and closer until he taps the man on the shoulder. Can I help you? Yes, I believe you have my bag, sir. The man looks down at his bag with a confused look. Nope, this right here belongs to me. It hasn't lost my sight since I left Texas. Please, sir, it would make me feel a lot better if you could open your bag just to reassure me. The man gives him a strange look. Okay, son. He places the bag on the ground and opens it up. Inside are clothes, baseball cards, and bed sheets. Uh, I apologize for wasting your time, sir. Frank continues to look around for his bag. Guessing wrong several more times right before giving up, Frank sees another bag that could be his in the distance. Hey! You! The man can't hear him. Frank races over, bouncing off people like a pinball before the man exits the airport. Can I help you, young man? I believe you have my bag, sir. Do any of these belong to you? Frank places the bag on the ground and opens the bag. It is filled with books and videotapes. No way! I can't believe it! That's my stuff. I guess this must be yours then. The man places the bag on the floor and Frank opens it. A picture of him and his wife, her clothes, and other personal items remain in the bag. Frank zips it, Frank zips it up and runs towards the exit. Hey, thanks, man. Frank grabs the bag and jumps into the cab. All good now. Absolutely. The driver pulls out in a hurry throwing out a cigarette, which is now down to the butt. 
Frank glances out the window, then turns to the driver. The driver accelerates and blows past the yellow traffic light. After driving for a few minutes, the taxi pulls up to, a, pulls up to Frank's destination. Frank gives the driver another $20 tip and gets out the cab. Frank opens his bag and places the picture of him and his wife above her tombstone. He stands still looking down on her grave, his eyes closed.